Hey guys, it's Renee. Um, I want to do a quick video and I really do mean this is going to be quick because um, I've got several more small kits um, like this one uh, coming up. And what I've decided to do for um, the kits is to show the video, post the video first um, and, you know, sort of wait a little while. I don't know, a couple of hours, four hours, five hours. Uh, I'm not sure yet how long. Um, and give everybody a chance to see the videos and sort of select one of the kits that they'd like. Um, and then, um, and sort of give everybody a chance. And I learned that idea from, uh, April and at Pink Odd Bird and Jessica and, um, uh, Tracy Fox um, and someone else. There's several of you who actually have like a release date. Um, I'm not going to have like a long time though. I, I, once I get these, um, the video, this video posted of each of the kits, um, then I will probably wait until, I don't know, like a few hours or so. I'm not sure, but, um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, anyway, okay. Uh, this is a fairies kit. Um, this is one of my small kits. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, and thank you for stopping in. Um, I am a recycler. Um, I am a true junk, junk finder. Um, I don't buy new, new items. Um, I think there's enough material out in this world in the thrift stores and the flea markets and the bazaars, um, to save and rescue before, they hit the landfill um, and go and appreciate it. Um, I found so many of my my uh, collections of books and dictionaries and you know paper pads even um, that way. So that's what my shop uh, in Etsy is about. That's what my YouTube channel is about. So this is um, sort of you know scrappy stuff. Um, so anyway, let me just get down to it. This is a fairies kit and this is what I came up with. Again, this is one of my smaller ones. Let me just show you the paper first. I'll get to all these little goodies here on top. If I can grab them, there's some really cute images and I, you kind of have to stick around to the end cause I want to show you guys something very curious and very, very interesting, um, that I'm going to add to this kit. Okay. Let me show you the papers first. This is how this will go. Um, and my white space here is sort of getting dingy and dirty from, you know, just ink drops and um, stuff. But <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so I was inspired. I'll show you the piece that I was inspired by after um, I show you the papers. Um, and so here, and I'm sorry for the glare, but you've got a really large piece of... Um, floral paper here and this is of lilies but I don't know I was kind of imagining a fairy could um you know come out of that flower or hang out in that flower sit down make a home in there somewhere um and there's another larger piece there and these are really really nice nice card um stocky papers um you could even make a cover with with one of those definitely pages inside Okay, and then here's the pattern paper. I'm so sorry, guys, for the glare. It's really bad. I My husband's working on, we're sort of working on another space for me in a different room um, that will have more lighting. Um, but we're not there yet. He's actually remodeling a home right now so and doing some other work. So we, we, we had to put a stop on it for now. Um, here's some pretty uh, flowers, florals with some glitter. Um, pieces and my paper um, pattern paper designer paper scrapbook paper whatever it is it's called um, comes from leftover pads so these aren't new these papers might be new um, or semi new but these pads come from leftover leftover um, pieces that I found in thrift stores and I've shown a haul video on how that happens um, once upon a time and there's a beautiful sort of whimsical looking mystical um, landscape distance there. I love this paper. This has got, it looks like some flower seed pods or blooms or something. I'm not sure what those are, but it's really pretty. Um, and that's got glitter on it that you probably can't see. And there's a castle there. 
and some fairies there and I this is another example of the paper that I actually discovered and found a whole stack of just different leftover you know the stuff that people don't want anymore <laughs> I put this in because of the colors because you'll see that this kit um, for fairies is mostly pinks and greens and blues um, a lot of that going on there's some pink paper some of my avocado dyed paper that is stunningly gorgeous and I love this pink this pink is kind of a vintagey pink you kind of have to see it in person it's just beautiful um, I haven't avocado dyed in a while there's some yellow avocado dyed and this is yellow because I laid yellow paper on here that I was dyeing in avocado so that yellow transferred over to the pink paper so that's really pretty and there's some more Avocado paper there with a little music piece there, die on there. And then this is a um, a piece with some little fairy girls on it in blue. Um, here's a folder I found in my stash. And that purple and pink and blue sort of uh, comes from... Um, that part of my theme comes from of the color hues here the color palette um, is sort of inspired by that as well there's a pretty whimsical page and this is very very nice paper but I love the flowers and the dragonflies and the you know the trees um, just a gorgeous little scene and here's another um, piece in yellows and there's some poppies and butterflies a very very happy place it's all about fairies it's all about fairies 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 <laughs> there's some dictionary mushroom that's called a destroying angel, a highly poisonous fungus distinguishable from the edible common field mushroom by its white underside. Many species of this poisonous mushroom flourish in the United States. I don't know if I want to put that one in there, but there it is. I just saw mushroom and <laughs> there you have it. Um, these kits are very literal, guys. Um, so I like this image a lot. That's really cool. And there's some, uh, I think that's from a Shakespeare book. But these are some pretty little frolicking, frolicking um, fairy-like or angelic-like creatures. Here's a large piece of pink and blue and purple ledger. Really big piece. You can cut that up and, and you know, make use that for several um, journals. And some vintage music paper. And more vintage music paper with some color in it. And the young girl and the, and the bird. I thought that might be suitable. And remember, these kits are meant for you to personalize and interpret how you will. Um, I just, I, you know, I have the supplies and you have to be the creator and the inventor the thinker behind all of this stuff, um, how, how you'll choose to use it. And um, there's just so much you can do uh, with my kits. And there's always, 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 even in this small kit, this is not even one of my larger, the works kit. Um, even in the smaller kits, uh, there's enough for two uh, or three journals, maybe. I thought that was kind of cute, the fairy. And that's one of those old, and that is vintage. I think these pages are from the 90s, guys. I said it on another video before. Um, yeah, so they're not new, new. They're not vintage, but they're not new, new. Mushroom book page. More mushrooms being cultivated.
I just put this colorful green and uh, blue map in there because I like the colors. Um, here's some fairy images here and there. This is from an old, old, old dictionary that I've shown um, in a video way back when. Um, and I think it's from the 40s. Um, but that's where the this page comes from. And there's the term fairy there. And I think I probably overdid it with the word fairy because, again, I'm literal with this stuff. Totally unlike the freedom I have in my classroom <laughs> um, to say and interpret and, you know, find all of that metaphor and symbolism and all that cool stuff. Here it's just, it is what it is. It's straightforward. Um, here's some mushroom images that are in black and white that I thought was pretty cool. There's that one. That glare just kills me. Um, and there are some more images there. Now this page is all about fairies, uh, fairy falls, um, elves, hobgoblins, goblins, leprechauns, she's, pixies, um, which is interesting. I sort of forgot when I'm trying to get things together, I, I'm getting better um, at creating little lists of things. Um, and so I could have easily searched my stock, my merchandise for um, pixies in terms of lettering and images and things like that. So I stuck to fairies for the most part. And there's a really cute image there, noble fairies. Who knew that there were noble fairies? And when I say that, I mean, are there poor ones? <laughs> or ones that weren't so noble? There's some mushrooms there. And that's a really old book as well. Those are pretty cool. So in this kit, um, you can, these are colorful vintage uh, book page mushrooms as well. You can probably do like a vintage fairy with the avocado um, dyed papers in here, or you can do a contemporary. I mix it up. Um, there's another one there. And I put two of these book pages in here, and these are originals. I haven't scanned these. Um, you just get sometimes a lot well, most of the time, most often, I let my originals go um, just because I don't want to have the same items in my kits over and over and over. So this will force me, and it forces me to actually come up with a new product um, when I'm out searching and to find new, um, um, you know, new images, new books, new papers, um, you know, other junk. And trash that I can find that's gorgeous and pretty um, so that's why I give away originals um, not give away but include originals um, in this stuff um, this is really pretty this is wallpaper and you can write on this it's not the vinyl wallpaper I do have some of that but this is you can actually write on it but I imagine that would be pretty for fairies um, since they kind of live in these little cups buttercups or whatever you call those not buttercups but flower blooms you know what I mean <laughs> this is kind of a whimsical image um, that's from an old poetry book and here are some little fairies here these are called rain fairies and they're just adorable I'm not gonna even read read that because um, I don't have that kind of time <laughs> there's one there Fairies in Canada. Isn't that something? I found that and I was like, wow, well, that's kind of cool. There we go. And there's some cute little images there and down at the bottom. And there's some fairies flying across the top. I like that. Old dictionary. I put some woodlands uh, pieces in here because of the mushrooms, just to break it up a little bit. I think I overdid it with the word fairy from in dictionary pages, but that's okay. 
um, like I said, there's enough in these kits to make one, two, three journals out of it. Mushrooms and flowers. I put this page in there because of the ladybug, uh, which is just absolutely adorable. Um, and this little rabbit with... <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's seeking out something there. And there's a... This is an old, old book page, guys, of... Um, let's see, what is it says? It says, think of the most lovely view you have ever... You have ever seen. And this is an old page. Um... I don't know if you guys can see it that great, but it's like a little castle with some flowers. These look like daffodils across here. There's some two men right there pointing. One is pointing over here. So I thought that might look like little fairies could probably sprout up there somewhere and surprise those two men on the side of that bank. Mushrooms, very, very super duper duper old. I think this page is from the 20s um, of just, uh, you know, mushrooms and rabbits and and these these as well these come from a very old book and i don't have a problem um i you know i'm a literary scholar and i ha i don't have a problem tearing up books which is a shame but every now and then there's some book that i'm just like ah! and i i do it anyway this was one of them this book is really really old um and it was kind of beat up but it's about fairies there's some fairy dialogue there um, so I, I don't mind doing it because I know that some artists, whoever gets this, will just turn this into a whole 21st century um, look and give it a whole new perspective and just really make these images um, as beautiful and as new as possible. That's the, that's the beauty of my job. My hobby, I should say, <laughs> which is a job. Etsy can running an Etsy shop can be a job. Let me tell you, I you know I barely keep up, but I do pretty well. And I've been on Etsy for a very long time, and I've seen all the changes it's gone through, the changes it's made. Um, you know, it's always a guess as to what direction it's headed, but it's still one of my favorite places um, to be as a. Um, online uh, vintage supply seller right so it, it's great um, but it is a lot of work to run an Etsy shop um, you know like right now we're consumed with my husband is making some dollhouse um, that's a scrap piece some dollhouse um, furniture and walls and windows and tiny little doors and that's just been this is a scrap card guys I'm sorry um, that's just been amazing and so fun. Um, a, a learning experience for us both. He's a carpenter. He can make anything. My husband is so freaking skilled. It's unbelievable. But tiny little dollhouse stuff, guys, it's like inchy, teeny, itty bitty, micro, micro, macro, micro, itty bitty. And, you know, um, his eyes are great. Thank goodness. But a couple of times he was trying to put some little nails in the hinge on a door. If I showed you the nails, guys, they're almost like the size of a pinhead. Um, that's how tiny they are. And he's like, oh, bleep. <laughs> this is a challenge. Um, but it's been so fun for us. These are scrap pieces uh, here. These are writing papers. I'm sorry, guys. These are writing papers. And these are scrap pieces. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice. And fun so we've been um, dealing with his orders um, him making them and me dealing with them and it's been really fun and something really really new okay let me speed it up here make 20 minutes these are goodie bags or you know craft bags there's another cute little image there this stuff is out of there's no order really but it's kind of out of order a little bit because I took some pictures of it for um, Instagram there's the fairy's pillow. You can see that. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that freaking adorable? Look at this dress, a, a skirt dress slash 
overall thingy. <laughs> it's just really cool. Um, and then here are some cute images here. Have some fairies and flowers. Little pixies. Okay, so that's that concludes the image and paper um, part of this kit. Um, then you have in the kit, um, let's see, let me do the fabrics here. Um, I won't spread it all out, but there's enough here for whatever it is you want to make um, for a fairy kit. So there's some butterfly fabric, and I told you guys that would show up again. You've seen that before. There's a piece from my great aunt's estate. Um, this is something she was sewing and making and so her stitches are in there I think she was hand sewing that as opposed to using her machine um, that I still have that's still sitting on the floor in my living room <laughs> it just sits there it's still there um, okay sorry about that guys um, okay so this piece comes from my great auntie's estate um, and it's just adorable and it's just a scrap piece. Um, a lot of her items I got, they still had stick pins in it with the pattern, the sewing patterns. Um, but she mostly sewed, uh, via machine, both hand and machine. And here's some other little pieces. I'm running out of this stuff, but I thought these would be pretty and kind of fun to play with little scrap pieces to sew down the page. Um, so there are those. And then here's some very pretty, um, glittery see-through and that might be pretty as a pocket very fairy like and look at this beautiful 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 um lace it's all about fairies it's all about fairies 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 <laughs> okay Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm not going to sing anymore, I promise. No more singing on this video, anyway. <laughs> um, that's really pretty. And that's got some glitter. Mm, you know, it's got some pretty glitter in there. You can't see it, can you? There it is. Can you see that, guys? And there's a big piece of that in there. I thought that would be fun for... Whoops, I got it upside down for a fairy journal. I guess I have it upside down. I'm not sure which way that goes. Even these little flowers would make cute little cutouts um, to put on pages. And I put this white vintage hanky in there. And that's in very good condition. It's pure, pure, pure white with no stains. Um, so you can dye that, coffee dye it. And I put it in for this little floral here. And it's got some cute little baby florals on the corners. And let's see, I put a piece of this in here. So this is um, one of those pieces um, that's just, hang on just a second, guys. Okay, so this piece here, um, you guys have seen this before, and I went ahead and cut up that piece where somebody went on this um this is why i got this for really cheap but it was a big piece with so many pretty florals on it that i just couldn't you know how can you throw something away like that because of of this um yeah you can cut around that you can still make a pocket out of that so i put that in there because i thought those poppies and the florals look very 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 fairy ish um or pixie ish <laughs> And then the same with these pieces here. This kind of stuff, um, again, is inspired by so many ladies. Um, the ladies who make boho journals, the ladies who make, um, you know, use scrap pieces of florals and flowers and things like that. So I thought that would be pretty to put in there. Like you could cut one of these flowers out and use that as a page embellishment um, in a fairy kit or any kit you choose, any book you choose, project you choose. And then for lace, you have some white lace, some green, some pretty um, 
colorful sorry i'm reaching over colorful what is this like pinks and greens that's really pretty sort of double-sided lace and here's a blue organza piece another blue organza piece with some peach florals in it and some of my uh, avocado dyed um, seam binding and you've got um, some pink organza I just saw um, Sagita's video recently where she actually sewed organza down the edge of her page she comes up with some really cool ideas a lot of you do I'm gonna do some um, shout outs um, pretty soon of people that I've been inspired by recently for my kids recently um, who don't have very many um, subbies not that I'm you know can help that much with that but I there are some people that I do want to give shout outs to who have really inspired me recently um, with a lot of things so I put this in here sort of like fairy dust kind of thing and that's in an old peel I have a ton of these I found at a thrift store um, and they just they're peels pouches peel pouches but they make great little um, holding places for tiny little things like that and I think these are stamp fabric tapes is what these are guys I found those in a haul at a thrift store Okay, and look at the flowers. Let me just put these all out. I thought these would be so cute as little fairy flowers. They're just adorable. When you put them up against some of the colors, um, let me show you. When you put them up against color like these pieces that I have, those are just some index cards. And what else is in here? There's a, a cute little writing spot, a card, a um, die cut. The future belongs to those who believe in chasing their dreams. I imagine fairies chase their dreams, right? Okay, so look at the flowers against. I put one of these cigarette uh, tea cards in here that says fairy tales on the back. That's Jack the Giant Killer. Probably not themed, but so what, right? It's, it's stuff for a... For a junk journal okay so if you look at these flowers and it's vintage <laughs> um, against all of these pretty uh, papers tea uh, coffee dye cards that I did for you it's just so pretty the flowers they're just so gorgeous they're gorgeous look at that the pink ones the orange ones the little fairy purple ones um, these little dark purple ones there's one for my great Auntie's estate. I still have some of her flowers left, barely, but I still have like that one. So cute. Mwah. Okay, let me stop going crazy on camera. Um, there's that one that's so cute. And there's a little leaf there. And a little green leaf here. So these are all like little fairy flowers that you can um, jam with for your book. The World of Fairies. And that's a true junk journal piece. And then here's some garden and some follow and some story um, cards. These were just some word cards. And next time, I probably won't uh, distress these. I think I should leave that up to the artist um, because God knows I don't know what I'm doing. I just did it for this one just for color. Maybe, you know, maybe the artist won't even use those. Who knows? And there's some old, um, the fairy waves are one at Pinocchio cards there's some little pixies the pixie society isn't that cute i think that's an actual that comes from one of my mom's magazines white castle we don't have one of those here those are east coast burger places that are yummy um there's a pretty lady that i think she looks kind of fairyish put some wings behind her and she's ready to fly honey Laugh, laugh, laugh. Okay, uh, drink this one is on us. Ticket, a butterfly. Um, these I put in here. This is a Macbeth piece on sleepwalking. So this is actually a um, interesting um, 
what do you call it? Oh, shoot, guys. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, I have to think of it in a minute. Um, and this one looks um, like people are in a forest. You have to kind of see it. I wish I could show you guys this stuff like you could see it like I can, but the buyer will see it. And there's a flying sticker lady there and some blue and some green floss to sew in your signatures. And there's a little vintage um, card that says gardens. It's so tiny I can't even hold it. And that's vintage. And some of these little goodies, there's a dragonfly and butterfly garment pins, these pretty pearl pinks uh, beads that you can sew through or add those in. Those are make great bohemian pieces too, I think. And there's a fairy right there, if you can see her, right? And some pins, a flower, dragonfly, another flower. So you get those little goodies. Okay, the last part is, oh, and here is a, um, I've had a whole big thing of this wrapped and wrapped and wrapped around and I never have used it, I've had it forever. Um, but it's kind of like curtain trim, but I'm gonna put it in there because I don't know, maybe you could cut some portion off and make a tag um, with it. I, I'm thinking, I don't know, you could. I don't know, would it be a cute page? edger it's kind of thick but i'm sticking it in there anyway because i like the colors okay finally i went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with books and i've shown this one before i love these mushrooms on here and this whole little forest secret you know world of forest the bed of a forest um what happens down in the you know in the goodness and the warmth of all this beautiful natural compost and all these gorgeous little um, ferns and mushrooms and insects and animals. Just a darling place and probably a really good place for a fairy to hang out. Especially if she pops up on top of this mushroom and just kind of hangs out and sits there and talks to these guys, right? Nope, I didn't put that one in there. Um, then I went back and forth with this one. And we know why I'm not putting that in there. I'm gifting that one to somebody. Um, which is a perfect little book, but... No. <laughs> um, this one I went back and for forth with and I thought, well, shoot, this is kind of cute. Thumbelina is, you know, fairy-ish. Um, so I, I just said no to that one too. So what I did come up with is this one. And this is a old vintage 19... 57 uh, Reader's Digest. Now, here's the deal, guys. I'm going to gut this, okay? Um, I love the natural book as it is, but the, the journal maker can do whatever he or she wants to with it. But I just love the dragonfly and the florals and it's pink and then this deep burgundy, which inspired me to put my avocado dyed vintage looking paper in this kit. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I'm going to gut this, but this is one of those books, um, that, you know, when you gut the old ones, sometimes the, the spine cracks and I'm pretty good at gutting books. I'm going to do my very best not to, um, dig into this part of it or not even dig into it, but it cracks just naturally, um, automatically. So I'm going to do my best to save this one. I think I can do it. Um, cause it's already got a split in there and you can even see like there's still dust down in there. Um, so I'm going to do my best to gut that one and, um, hopefully I'm successful at it. Um, I'll put some of the pages in the kit from the, the bowels of that. Um, uh, but that's the book and I think it's just gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? Now, if it doesn't come out perfectly, which it should, um, I'm going to send the spine with it, with the covers and that way you can, um, Re rebuild it and then the last thing is because this video is freaking long and i never can get how to speed it up god oh anyway this is an old book that i found a long 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 time ago um here's the the guts of it and somebody's gonna scream when they see that i've actually taken it apart um yes i have um it is a gorgeous little tiny book this is why 
um, when I got it, um, look at it. You see that right there? So it wants to be rebuilt anyway, um, but it is the most darlingest little book. Um, and it's got fairies and little um, tulips and things which inspired these little flowers that I put in here. Um, and these little flowers that I put in here. This is where the inspiration came from, right? And these pink, pretty little pink leaves, I think are just adorable, as well as the greens, right? Um, it's, it's just really cute. I love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, this is, let me give you the date to this, 1945. Don't cry. Don't scream, guys, because it's in bad. It was in bad shape. It really was. Um, and the good news is, is I will keep all the pages together, but I will um, scan this um, and I will send with this kit. Um, a fairy went a marketing by Rose um, File Fileman. And then Finding Fairies by Marjorie Burroughs, which I think is just the cutest little thing. Um, and I got really lucky. Uh, look at the mushrooms and the little crickets and stuff. Just adorable. The good news is, again, I'm not going to um, to separate the pages out. Okay, so I'll share it. I, I will scan it and share it that way um, with this kit. Um, because, yeah, I just I can't part with this right now at some point I will but I thought I might be able to um, scan it and let other people enjoy some of these cute little images in here um, instead of me hoarding it look at that isn't that adorable it's just so cute okay guys this video is long enough these are some of the other pages um, that were in there just just adorable little images. Um, God, my camera. I'm sorry if I've been out of focus. There's some Christmassy little pieces. Um, and I've I've held on to this book for a long time. I found it. I think I got it for like fifty cents. Um, and at a uh, at a bazaar. I think it was at a bazaar. Um, and it's just adorable. It's so cute. So I can't part with it. I just, I, you know, it was hard enough for me to, um, go ahead and separate it from its, um, look at the gypsies guys. And I didn't include that in my last gypsy kit because I did, I didn't, hadn't scanned it yet, but isn't that adorable? So, yeah. Anyway, there's more pages to it, too. I'll probably just scan the whole thing. But, again, for those of you who are cringing at the sight of it being um, gutted, there, there's why. Um, it, it was, it's not in terribly bad shape, but, come on. Honestly, I would love to see these pages live in somebody else's world um, and art. Um, and there's no reason for me to hang on to it. Um just because it's, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I better stop this video. It's way over. I'll be back with um, more kits. And I won't uh, list these until I get, um, I think there's several other ones. Um, I'll let you know, okay? Thank you. Bye. Orale pues, sale pues.